to talk about why your basement leaks. To understand why your basement leaks, first you have to realize the materials used to construct your foundation, which encompasses your basement. The foundation holds up the house. The basement is that space within the foundation. The materials used to make that foundation are not by themselves waterproof. Typically a contractor uses concrete, whether it's concrete block or poured solid concrete, to make your footing, your wall, and your floor. When water gets too concrete, water can readily pass through it. In fact, concrete pulls water through it in what's called capillary action. So waterproof, uh, forgive me, concrete is not waterproof. All right? Now when they built your home, they took a plot of land and dug a hole in it. Inside that hole, they stuck a house. Something like this. And then they put the dirt back up against the foundation to fill in the hole. So what happens now when it rains is the water hits the ground, it travels along the grade to some extent, but as the water is creeping along the ground, it's also seeping into the soil and heading downward. Water travels the path of least resistance, goes the easiest way it can go, and gravity is constantly drawing it downward. What the easiest path of, for the water to take, though, is up against your foundation, because all of this soil has been excavated before. It's been dug up and loosened up over time. So when it rains, water is more likely to find its way up against your foundation. And then we like to say if water can get to your wall, since the material that we use to make the wall isn't waterproof by itself, water gets to the wall, water will pass through the wall ultimately. Let's talk about how it is your foundation is actually constructed. There are three main components to your foundation. There's the footing, your wall, whether it's block or poured solid, and then the last thing your contractor did is pour your floor. Now remember, we're built in a hole that's now backfilled, right? In between your footing and your wall, even when it's solid concrete, that's a two-step process. The footing is poured first, then the wall. Anytime you pour concrete, wet concrete, on top of dry concrete, the dry concrete pulls the moisture out of the wet concrete, creating an imperfect seam. So even if you don't have obvious cracks, flaws, or openings in your foundation, this critical seam here, we call it the cove, where on the inside of the home, the floor meets the wall, this is where we see a lot of water pushing up and in and presenting in the cove. That's because this seam between the footing and the wall isn't naturally made of waterproof materials, and that seam can't keep water from coming through it unless you do something about it. Do you see water here where your floor meets your wall? That's probably a cove.